located on 8 acres of the 16-acre World Trade Center complex, the 9-11 Memorial is a place of remembrance and contemplation within the bustle of Lower Manhattan. Engine 343 is a memorial in honor of the brave firefighter who lost their life during the 9-11 tragedy. It's the chirping of the integrated motion alarms built into firefighters' breathing apparatus. They're designed to alarm when there is no motion for more than 20 seconds to alert fellow firefighters that one of their own isn't moving and is injured. That sound was heard too many times that morning. 343 firefighters were lost that day while conducting the largest rescue operation in the history of fire service. More than 400 swamp wild oak trees fill the memorial plaza around the pools. This hardy species of tree is native to the areas of all three 9-11 cross sites, New York City, Arlington, Virginia, and Somerset County, Pennsylvania. In April 2003, the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation established to oversee the revitalization 
of the downtown area after 9-11, launched an international competition to choose a design for a permanent memorial at the World Trade Center site. The competition was open to adults 18 years or older, without regard for nationality or professional accreditation, and yielded 5,201 submissions from 63 countries. Entries were judged by a 13-person jury that looked for the sign that honored the victims, spoke to the needs of families who had lost loved ones, and provided a space for healing and reflection. In January 2004, the design submitted by architect Michael Arad and landscape architect Peter Walker, reflecting absence, was chosen as the winning entry. The design features twin water pool falls surrounded by bronze parapets that list the names of the victims of the 9-11 attacks and the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. The pools are set within a plaza where more than 400 swamp white oak trees grow. The memorial opened on September 11, 2011, 10 years after the 9-11 attacks. The names of the 2,983 people who were killed in the 2001 and 1993 terrorist attacks are inscribed on bronze parapets edging the memorial poles. The names are grouped by the locations and circumstances in which victims found themselves during the attacks. The North Pole parapets include the names of those who were killed at the North Tower on hijack flight 11 and in the 1993 bombing. The South Pole parapets include the names of the first responders as well as victims who were killed at the South Tower on hijack flight 175, at the Pentagon, on hijack flight 77, and on hijack flight 93. Within these groupings, Names are arranged in a system of meaningful adjacencies. Friends and colleagues appear together, as well as the crews of each of the four flights and first responder agencies and units. Additionally, during the memorial's development, victims next of kin were invited to request that their loved ones' names be inscribed alongside specific others. In this way, those who were connected in life reside, reside together on the memorial.
focal points of the memorial are two pools, each nearly an acre in size, that sits in the footprints of the former North and South Towers. The pools contain the largest man-made waterfalls in North America, each descending 30 feet into a square basin. From there, the water in its pool drops another 20 feet and disappears into a smaller central void. According to the architect Michael Arad, the pools represent absence made visible. Although water falls into the voids, they can never be filled. The sound of the cascading water makes the pools a place of tranquility and contemplation separate from the bustling noises of the city. The southwestern quadrant of the Memorial Plaza is dedicated in honor of all who are sick or have died from exposure to toxins and the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks. This population includes first responders and recovery workers at all three sites, relief workers and volunteers, World Trade Center survivors, and Lower Manhattan residents students and workers, including those who clean buildings in the vicinity of Ground Zero. Named the 9-11 Memorial Glade, this historic modification to the memorial also recognizes the determination and perseverance of those who participated in the recovery efforts, responding when our nation needed the most and helping to make rebuilding possible. It includes a pathway planked by six large stone monoliths, each inlaid with remnant World Trade Center steel, symbolizing strength through adversity. The glade opened in May 30, 2019, the 17th anniversary of the official end of the recovery period. The Memorial Plaza also includes one calorie per tree. In October 2001, recovery workers discovered the severely damaged tree at Ground Zero. Members of the New York City Parks and Recreation Department removed it from the side and nursed it back to health, having survived the events of 9-11. The tree became known as the Survivor Tree. It was returned to the World Trade Center site 
and 2010 and now stands on the plaza as a symbol of resilience and perseverance.